good morning, good evening, good afternoon, world. Let's talk a little bit about loots and um well it's it's a kind of little touchy subject. Um should we use loops um you know from third party companies or distributors to the film and TV in industry, you know, as create creating our music and making music for film and TV. So should we actually use loops? I'll give my opinion on it and what I think. Um, there's nothing wrong with using loops at all. Um, I like using them, but depending on the situation, film and TV, uh, I wouldn't say not so much. And here's why I would say that because um, the film and TV industry people and music supervisors, they really don't trust people like us. And what I'm not saying that they don't trust us in a bad way as far as um, that we're um, trying to get out and do something crazy or do something out of the ordinary against them. No, that's not. Um, meaning that they, a lot of them think that we don't know the business side of it and um, that you know we could possibly put them at risk when it comes to music licensing if we don't have our ducks in, in the right order. Meaning that um, your PRO is legit, your copyrights or um, clearances and all those things. So that's what they're looking for. And a lot of them don't think that we know that off bat, which a lot of us don't know. You know, that's just getting into the film and TV industry or just even learning. So um, not a bad thing. This is they're trying to protect themselves and in their other in their companies and their clients so nothing wrong with that i would say um using loops for film and tv probably would not be a good idea because of that issue um for example i think i seen this on youtube i think it was something with, going on with one of justin bieber song and there was a loop from splice that was used in that song and another artist had used that. So it was this big thing. They were making a big spill over it. And it's just a headache. So I was like, man, you know, it just kind of like a devil head sword in a way. Like, should I use loops? If, am, am I going to have to deal with that? So um, it depends. You know, it depends on the licensee, what restrictions that that person may have or how much of the licenses do you have. So definitely got to check it out. Check into that if you're planning on using that loop in, in something major. And, you know, major artists do uh, use loops. Um, there's this one company called Output. And I fairly use Output a lot. Um, there was a loop that, uh, it was a vocal chop that I used. And I heard it on a, a song on the radio. I was like, oh, man, I use that same vocal chop. So, you know, when you're do, dealing with loops and stuff, you know, that's not necessarily mean that you're the only one using them. Other people may be using them. So it's probably a good idea to maybe try to chop it up and, and make it your own. Although it does sound great. That's why you went to it and you want that. But the next person might get that. So maybe you could change it around or alter it a little bit and make it kind of like yours, you know. So that's why I, said I wouldn't suggest using loops when you're making songs for film and TV, um, it's just a headache. It, it, you know, um, with clearances and a lot of companies, a lot of libraries don't want you to use loops because they would definitely put that in their um, description of submission rules. You know, so a lot of them don't, might not want you to use them. Uh, some may, but they want to make sure that they're cleared and licensable, and then you might have to show proof that they're licensable. So um, I just say the best thing, man, is just kind of stay away from loops when dealing with film and TV. Um, make your own, you know, uh, make your own little patches, you know. Um, I know it's tempting to get out there, you hear some banging and you want to use it, but for that purpose, I probably would shy away from loops regarding film and TV and music licenses just for um, you have a better chance of getting your song placed and then going through all that drama um, with um, when it comes to loops and stuff, you know. 
Uh, it's just a headache, and a lot of companies just don't want to deal with it. So I would suggest create your own. That way you don't have to worry about getting a license, you know, because you are the creator, so it, it doesn't matter, you know. Pardon my scratchy voice, by the way. Um, <clears throat> just getting over a little something. So, yeah, I would suggest using loops uh, for film and TV just for that purpose. Not saying that um, you can't use them. This I've done it before. Um, but just why take that chance? You know what I'm saying? It's like, if I'm going to make a bunch of songs, let's just make all original you know for film and tv now like i say you want to do something for other projects regarding other artists or you're trying to play songs for um major minor artists or whatever um yeah you know do your thing but for that particular uh industry regarding music licenses for film and tv or corporate audio you know i would shy away Definitely from loops, because a lot of them will tell you that they um, won't accept it. And it's just a headache. So I just want to just throw that opinion out. And again, it's my opinion also. So, um, you know, comment on what do you think about it? You know, have you had some success with loops in the film and TV industry? Um, if you have, hey, kudos to you. Um, have you... But I know if you've been doing it for a while, I'm pretty sure you you have ran into some libraries that kind of frown upon that a little bit. Like, mm, no, I don't know about that, you know. So um, like and subscribe, like and hit the alert button. And, you know, let's get tuned in for other good videos. But it's just a little short video that I want to do and um, just talk about that, you know, and might give my opinion on loops um, like i said again nothing wrong with loops you know i use them still it depends on the situation what i'm using it for but i try to stay away from them regarding film and tv or music licenses or, or you know dealing with corporate audio i try to stay away from them so that being said uh see you guys in the next video don't forget again to subscribe and hit that notification button and again i am out of here